In this video, I'm going to show you the proper way to add an appendix to a professional report in Word. By doing it this way, if you make changes anywhere else in your Word document, it won't affect your appendix and it integrates well with Word's built-in table of contents. So follow along if you're interested in exactly how to add a proper appendix to Microsoft Word. Well, my name's Chris and I like to share on this channel some of the uh, tools, tips and tricks that I've learned over the years as an engineer and a consultant uh, to help people sort through complex problems in their professional life. So uh, if you're interested in that sort of thing, please hit subscribe and follow along. Otherwise, let's dive right into it. So the first step we want to do to uh, define an appendix is to set the multi-level list style. So when we set the multi-level list for our appendix, we can apply the style, the heading style to it. Once we apply that heading style, it will show up in the table of contents. So the headings are a bit, uh, treated a bit specially in Word. Now I've got open here our professional report from the last video I did uh, about how to set up a professional report in Word. Uh, you can see we've got the title, the different tables, table of contents, lists, pictures, figures, all sorts of things. But what we're going to do is add on our appendix to the end. So well, we've got here our awesome appendix heading and the first thing we're going to do is uh, click on this multi-level list and then we're going to define new multi-level list. So despite the naming here, uh, we're just modifying the list that we use to define our headings. So if you're interested in how I set up headings in this document, please check out that last video. But uh, in short, all we've done is define a new multi-level list for the headings, linked it with the list styles uh, and then uh, that allows it to go into the table of contents later on. Uh, so I like to use uh, heading level nine for the appendices because it gives us, uh, I'm never going to use that heading for anything else. So I might as well use it for an appendix. Now, uh, by putting it in this multi-level list and linking it to the style, it lets us put it in the table of contents. So that's why I use the multi-level list and not just the style itself. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is put in the text appendix. You can see it coming up here where it, it gives you a bit of preview about what's going on. Appendix, and I usually find letters uh, make for the best appendix references. Okay, and, and now I've also set these items to zero, set for all levels to zero, so that our uh, word appendix appears on the left of the page, and then it will always be uh, we, we can use the styles to change the indent rather than the uh, heading. So click OK there. Now link to level, link level to style. So the level of this list, we're going to link it to heading nine, the heading nine styles so that it will appear in our um, table of contents later on. Okay, so with all that set to zero, start at A, excellent, uh, click OK. Now that's given us this uh, list there, but that's, that's not quite what we want. We want to set it to heading, we want to set the style to level nine. Uh, so now level nine doesn't appear here because it's set to uh, be hidden. It, Word only shows you the styles it thinks you're gonna use and heading nine isn't commonly used. So we click on uh, more, oops, sorry. No, we click on this little arrow uh, and all the styles come up. Click on this little tick with an A, the manage styles and come down to heading nine, uh, heading nine. Now, uh, you change when you change these settings, it changes for all words. So when I was doing it as a test, it, uh, it, it if you're doing this from scratch, it will show you hide until used. So click on heading nine and click show, and then heading nine will appear in the box up there. So now we can apply heading nine. Uh, now that's put it on a new page because I've linked heading nine to our previous one, but uh, so if you come into modify style, you can then change it here. So if you change style based on to heading one, it will put it on the new page because in the previous example, we put heading one on the new page. Now, now we did that by clicking format paragraph, line and page breaks and page break before. So that's the uh, style that tells Word to put it on the next page. So now uh, I like to have some offset uh, in our appendix here to, to really give an appendix its own page. So you can see here, it's, it's sort of come up. I, I don't like to use uh, pay, uh, the return key. You can see I've got these paragraph marks on. I don't like to use the return key to insert new lines. I like to use these styles. So we've got our appendix A here. Now it, it looks a bit small actually. Let's make it a bit bigger. So we right click modify and then we can increase the size a little bit. Uh, I also want Oh, uh, it's going to, I, I want to um, keep the appendix aligned there. So this is where we change the indentation. 
let's set the first line indentation to, I think I said about 4.74 in the video, and that should give us a link. Let's try that. Oops, okay, uh, not quite what we're after. Uh, okay, so we do, let's change the, let's change it back to uh, something a bit different. So indentation left, we'll add in a little bit of indentation on the left. This is to align our appendix title inside. Uh, and oh, we should change that to hanging, I should say. There we go, that's better. Okay, uh, so that gives us our appendix heading there. And uh, oh, now I don't like having this uh, report title on the appendix heading, so I'm going to remove that. Uh, so this is the heading uh, that comes from the last uh, section of the document. So at the moment, our appendix is still in the same section. So Word has these document sections. We had our title page on one section. Now we, our contents on a second section, but now we want to insert a section break so that our appendix is on a separate section. Uh, so press enter in the contents and then come over here to layout and then uh, breaks and then select next page. So that will put our, oops, put our appendix on the next page there. Excellent. Uh, and so you can see that our appendix is now part of its own section. Now this report should be set up for uh, sections to have their own page numbers. In fact, you can see down here, uh, we've got, <laughs> it says page six of one because it's, it's the counting, uh, the page six is the current page inside the document and the page one is the uh, total pages in this section. So, so our appendix is now in a new section. I actually want to also offset it a bit further down into the page. So we uh, click on home, so if you, if you, anytime you want to change the style of your appendix headings, you should come over to this styles and we've set it to heading nine. So we can right click heading nine, select modify, and that's the best place to change those uh, headings. So if we then, uh, I want to put it, to put it further down into the page, the best way I found was to use this spacing before. I don't like to use the enter keys because uh, you end up with white spaces in the document where those enters have shifted over a new line. It, there's a difference in word between uh, display information and the logic of the document. So logic of the document is things like the text and the pictures and the tables. Uh, and then there's some display information, which is styles or font or format that Word uses to tell you how to display it. So if you use logic uh, things to dictate to Word how to display, you're going to run into a lot of problems later when you change your logic as you're writing the document. So in this, in this case, please don't use the enter or space keys to align things in Word because that's changing the logic of the document. When you're coming through to make revisions to the document later on, it's all going to cascade through and you're going to end up with a mess of formatting everywhere. Highly recommend styles. Uh, I, I had a colleague who spent a long time uh, compiling this. We were working on, I think it was about a 500 page report and because he used enter to and space to position things in the document. He'd go to an earlier section of the document, make some changes, and that would and the, the spacing would cascade through and end up with white spaces all over his document. So every change he had to go through and look at where else in the document uh, other things had happened. So I highly recommend using styles and letting words, uh, it's called a pagination engine, I think, words pagination, where Word decides what text to display on what pages to help to, to do the display for you. So in the styles, uh, in this paragraph box here, you can give Word some hints about what you wanna do. That's this line and page breaks uh, button. But in, in this case, what we want to do is change the spacing of our uh, heading. So we want to add, tell Word at the display level, we're adding space before our appendix heading. Uh, and in this case, when I was testing out the video, I found it was about 300 was a good place to start. To give it this center, uh, center effect here. So 300 uh, and then uh, 360 below gives us this sort of heading in the center a bit, a uh, vertical center of the page. And I also want to say that the next paragraph, yep, body, okay. So when we press enter, it comes down here and we can start typing, start typing appendix text. Okay, or we can put in drawings or pictures or, or whatever else goes into our appendices. So. Uh, coming back to the title page for the appendix or the cover page for the appendix, I don't like the look of having, I, I like a nice clean appendix page. So I'm going to remove this title here, but 
uh, at the moment, we're in a separate section. We've defined a separate section of the document for the appendix. And we're going to, at, at the moment, all the styling for this section, the header and footer is linked to the previous one. So, Key thing here is to untick link to previous, which means that when we start modifying this section, it's not going to affect the previous one. So now we can remove that text and come down to the footer as well and do the same because at the moment it says page six of two. Uh, we can change this to say appendix page or, or something else such as uh, we can, yeah, we can change this to appendix page. I'm just going to remove it for now. If you're interested in how I set those page numbers up, uh, please, I'll, I'll leave a link below in the description below actually to the last video where I set this report. Uh, so we've got our reference number there. We've got our heading. Okay. Uh, and now one other trick I like to do is to put a cover page into, is to make our cover page stand out a bit. So I'm going to put a shape in here in the background to uh, really emphasize that this is a different section of the report when it's printed. And we do that by coming to insert shape. And the shape I'm going to use, I like to use this little, looks like a, we can make it look like a piece of paper uh, with the corner cut off. So I'm going to define our shape out here. Where are we? It should snap to about the right size. No, okay. Uh, let's zoom out a bit and come down. So we're putting a little shape behind our uh, cover page there. We want to cover, we'll make it about even. Uh, and now that's going to be a bit dominant. So I'm also going to change the opacity, make it a bit transparent, just so it fades in with the background. It's like a little graphical hint and because we put it in the header, it's going to uh, reflect any time we do. It's, it's not something that shows up in the document. So as, as the pages uh, move around, this picture is always going to stay in the header behind the appendix. Uh, so we come here and I'm going to change the fill. I'm going to make it quite transparent so that it doesn't overpower the page. And I'm also going to turn off the border. So that should give us our nice appendix heading there. It looks good. Uh, now, what's happened here is that it's uh, come to come through to our uh, other page in our appendix. And the way we can fix that is to uh, click here on our title page and then uh, go to layout again, insert a new section. So our cover page for our appendix is one section and then our appendix contents is another section. And then we can repeat that for each appendix. So insert break and then next page. Oops, and then, okay, we've got the appendix text here, which we don't need. This should be on that level, yep. Okay, that's just body text. Then we come through here and again, unlink to previous and we can delete that picture now. So there we go. We can also start putting in uh, the information for our appendix such as page number and the title block and, and those sorts of things. So that's how to set up the appendix in the Word document. Now we can add it to the table of contents as well because we use that heading level nine. So we come back up to our table contents and if you go to references and then table of contents here, now click custom table of contents and this custom one is where we can add in the headings. So at the moment we've got heading one, two and three. Let's uh, click on options and we come down here, build table of contents from styles, yep. And we come down to heading nine and we say, okay, so we've got a tier table of contents level one, two, and three is defined there. So the next number being four, we put four in heading nine, click okay. And that should then show up our replace this table of contents. And that's appendix A, our awesome appendix heading, perfect. Now you can see it's, it's, uh, moved the indent across in the table of contents. This doesn't look so great because appendix A is the start of our appendix by itself. So what I'm going to do is come back to this table of contents and change the styles slightly so that there's no indent there. Uh, now to do that, we click uh, yeah, modify in the table of contents, come down to, I think we're TOC level four. Uh, actually, we'll, I'll do it from the start because it's we have to move all of them over. So in this case, it's uh, format paragraph. And this is just like modifying the style again. Uh, and we go zero from the left. So this is heading one that we're doing in the table of contents. Click OK. Uh, heading two, we're going to do the same format uh, paragraph. Oh, oops, that was heading two. Uh, so heading three, the same modify, move it over to the left. Uh, we could just do this for the appendix, but I'm keen to do it for all of them just in case. 
So I click OK and then uh, TOC4 as well. So I think this is yep, our awesome appendix heading. And then we move this over to the left, click OK, OK. So we've changed our table of contents styling. Everything's moved over there. Show levels, because we're now at level four for the appendix, need to change it to level four. Click OK, and there we go. Our appendix appears. Uh, oh, it, it was there a second ago. <laughs> So as you can see, Word hasn't shown up my appendix heading here because Word can get a bit tricky about the order you do some of these things in. So if this happens to you, click table of contents, custom table of contents. And after we change the styles, after we set it to level four, then we have to click options and come back and set four to heading nine instead of heading four because we don't have any heading fours in our document. So unfortunately, Word can be a bit picky about the order these things are done in because it's a bit of magic under the hood. I haven't come up with a better way to do it. Please let me know if you have a better way to write professional reports. Word is the best way I've found because of how accessible it is to the various stakeholders that you have reviewing your reports. If you're interested in uh, how to review a report like this, as in what sort of things you should look for when you're reviewing an engineering or a consulting report, uh, please hit subscribe and I'll be releasing a video like that shortly. Otherwise, that's how to add an appendix. Uh, to go through that briefly again, you, uh, first of all, you set up your multi-level list. Uh, even though it says define new multi-level list, you click the new button just to modify it. So you define a new list level for your appendix, style that, uh, link that to a heading style, then style your appendix heading. Uh, then make sure it's on a new section so that you can change the header and footer and background. Uh, then you can, uh, to put that into your table of contents, uh, define the table of contents to support the level that your heading was on. So if your heading was level nine, level nine becomes table of contents level four. So you can display table of contents level four. Uh, so that's, uh, I know it's a bit hard to follow. So please leave a comment below if you have any questions uh, and I'll see what I could do to help you out there. If there's any, if there's a lot of questions on the same topic, I'll release another video on it because uh, some of these word things can be a bit hard to follow step by step as word does rely on a specific order that <laughs> that's a bit hard to figure out sometimes. So please leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do to help you out. Otherwise, like I said, if you're interested in some of the uh, tools and processes that I use to do things like review reports or write meeting minutes or plan projects, please hit subscribe, follow along and I'll release those videos shortly. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one.